Right now, at this very moment, over 500,000 people in southern Italy are living inside a volcano. Not near it. Not around it. Inside it. And just one minute ago, scientists confirmed something that has sent shockwaves through the global volcanology community. This volcano, Campi Flegre, has recorded over 1,200 earthquakes in recent weeks. The ground beneath Naples is rising at a rate never seen in modern monitoring history. Emergency evacuation protocols have been activated. The Italian government is mobilizing 200 trains, 1,500 buses, and 50 ships. This is not a drill. This is not speculation. This is happening right now. Imagine waking up to your kitchen floor cracking in straight lines, your walls pulling apart, your harbor too shallow for boats, your children asking why the ground shakes every single night. For the residents of Pozzuoli, a port city sitting directly inside the Campi Flegre caldera, this is not imagination, this is their reality. Angela Grico, a lifelong resident, described watching her home, literally, tear itself apart. The cracks followed her walls, spread across her ceiling, and no amount of repair could stop them. Because the problem was not her house. The problem was the mountain beneath it trying to break free. What makes this crisis unlike any other volcanic threat on Earth is what scientists discovered just days ago. A team from Stanford University deployed artificial intelligence to analyze three years of seismic data from Campi Flegre. Traditional monitoring systems had detected roughly 12,000 earthquakes between 2022 and 2025. The AI revealed the horrifying truth. There had been 54,000 earthquakes. 78% of the volcano's activity had been completely invisible to human analysts. The mountain was four times more active than anyone realized and it had been hiding its awakening for years. But the AI found something even more disturbing, a near-perfect ring of seismic activity encircling the entire caldera. Two massive fault systems converging directly beneath Pozzuoli. The entire caldera. Two massive fault systems converging directly beneath Pozzuoli. And a fracture network extending three to five kilometers deep creating pathways for magma and superheated gas to rise toward the surface. Dr. Bill Ellsworth from Stanford School of Earth, Energy and Environmental Sciences issued a stark warning. These fault systems suggest an earthquake in the magnitude 5 range G is not out of the question. A magnitude 5 earthquake inside an already critically pressurized supervolcano this is the nightmare scenario volcanologists have feared for decades. Campi Flegre is not just any volcano. It is classified as a supervolcano. 40,000 years ago, it produced the Campanian Ignimbrite eruption, one of the largest volcanic explosions in European history. The blast ejected over 150 cubic kilometers of material burying Eastern Europe in ash and possibly contributing to the extinction of the Neanderthals. 15,000 years later, the Neapolitan Yellow Tuff eruption created the modern caldera, a 13-kilometer wide crater that now holds the city of Pozzuoli and parts of Naples. The Italian National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology has been monitoring Campi Flegre continuously since the 1970s. Their data shows something unprecedented. Ground uplift has reached 4.6 feet in the central caldera, exceeding the levels recorded during the 1984 crisis that forced 40,000 people to evacuate. Seismic activity has increased exponentially since 2018, with five earthquakes above magnitude 4 recorded in 2025 alone. The May 13th magnitude 4.4 earthquake was the strongest ever recorded at Campi Flegre, 
since modern monitoring began. Gas emissions from fumaroles have spiked to 1,557 tons per day, levels typically only seen at volcanoes already in active eruption. To understand why Italy is preparing for the largest peacetime evacuation in European history, you need to know what Campi Flegre has done before for this supervolcano operates in cycles, decades of quiet followed by violent awakening. And right now, every single indicator suggests we are entering the most dangerous phase of the current cycle. The most recent crisis began in the late 1960s. The residents of Pozuali noticed something strange. Their ground was rising, slowly, at first, then faster. By 1970, a phenomenon called bradicism became impossible to ignore. Bradicism is the slow vertical movement of the ground caused by magma and hydrothermal pressure deep beneath the surface. It is the mountain breathing. And when Campi Flegre breathes, cities crack apart. Throughout the 1970s, Pozzuolus ground rose over six feet. The ancient Roman market, the Mesleim of Pozzuoli, shifted and crumbled. The harbor became too shallow. Boats ran aground. Thousands of buildings developed structural cracks. Residents reported feeling tremors every single day. By 1984, a magnitude 4.2 earthquake struck during peak tourist season. After 1985, the crisis seemed to calm. Seismic activity declined. The ground stopped rising. Evacuation orders were lifted. Scientists believed the pressure had been released. They were wrong. What they did not understand then, but do now, is that Campi Flegre operates as a self-sealing pressure cooker. Dr. Francesca Bianco, director of the Vesuvius Observatory, explained the deadly mechanism. Each cycle of unrest adds pressure to the magma chamber. Then the volcano reseals itself. Mineral deposits and cooled magma create a cap. The pressure does not escape. It accumulates, it builds, decade after decade, until the mountain can no longer contain it. The current cycle began in 2005. For nearly 20 years, the pressure has been building. The ground has risen 4.6 feet. That is higher than 1984. Seismic activity has increased exponentially. Over 1,200 earthquakes in recent weeks alone, and with the AI discovery, revealing 54,000 total earthquakes over three years, the true scale of the unrest is only now becoming clear. But there is another historical warning that terrifies scientists. In 1538, Campi Flegre erupted with almost no warning. After just two days of intensified seismic activity, the volcano exploded. In a single week, it built Monte Nuovo, a new mountain over 400 feet tall. The eruption buried villages, killed dozens, and reshaped the landscape permanently. The warning window was 48 hours. Not weeks, not months, two days. May 13th, 2025, 3.17 in the afternoon. A phone call that changed everything. Stanford University researchers contacted Italian authorities with findings that shattered every assumption about Campi Flegre's current state. The artificial intelligence analysis was complete. And the results were catastrophic. For three years, scientists believed they were tracking approximately 12,000 earthquakes beneath the caldera. The AI revealed they had been blind to 42,000 more. 78% of the volcano's seismic activity had gone completely undetected. Traditional monitoring systems had failed. The mountain had been screaming warnings that no one could hear until now. But the earthquake count was only the beginning. The AI identified something far more dangerous a ring-shaped structure of seismic activity perfectly encircling the caldera. 
Five, two major fault systems converging directly beneath Pozzuoli's city center. And a network of fractures extending three to five kilometers deep, creating underground highways for magma, gas, and superheated fluids to rise toward the surface. Dr. Bill Ellsworth warned that these fault systems suggest an earthquake in the magnitude 5 range is entirely possible. For context, the strongest earthquake ever recorded at Campi Flegre in modern history was magnitude 4.4. A magnitude 5 would be exponentially more powerful. And it would occur not on stable ground, but inside a pressurized volcanic system already on the edge of failure. The ground is rising faster than it did during the 1980s crisis. Interferometric synthetic aperture radar data reveals the deformation center is located offshore, just west of Pozzuoli. The pressure source is shallow, close to the surface, and growing. Gas emissions have reached levels that alarm even veteran volcanologists. Fumaroles at Solfatara and Pizzarelli are releasing 1,557 tons of carbon dioxide per day. Seismic heat maps from the Italian National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology show a disturbing pattern. Earthquake frequency is not random. It is clustered. Concentrated along specific fault lines, building in intensity. The May 13th magnitude 4.4 earthquake was not an isolated event. It was part of a sequence. Five magnitude 4 or greater earthquakes in 2025 alone, each one stronger than the last. At 6.15 in the evening, on May 13th, emergency alerts interrupted television broadcasts across Italy. The evacuation planning phase was officially activated. The people living through this crisis tell another. In Pozzuoli, schools have implemented earthquake drills every week. Le children, as young as six years old, practice evacuation routes. Parents pack emergency bags and keep them by the door. Marina operators report boats scraping harbor floors as ground uplift makes the water too shallow. Fishermen who have worked these waters for generations can no longer dock their vessels in the same ports their fathers used. Masonry cracks appear overnight. Walls separate from foundations. Ancient churches that survived world wars now buckle under relentless ground deformation. This is not sudden disaster. Dr. Moro Rosi from the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology warns that the current uplift and seismicity already exceed 1984 levels after just 20 years. The previous cycle took over 40 years to reach peak intensity. The volcano is accelerating, its behavior is changing, and no one can predict what comes next. Dr. Tiziana Venorio, from Stanford University, the researcher who discovered the self-sealing pressure cooker mechanism, offers the starkest assessment. The parallels to the 1982 to 1984 crisis are deeply disturbing. The volcano is following the same pattern, but at a scale indicating far more pressure accumulation. At this stage, an eruption is a question of when, not if. But perhaps the most unsettling question comes from Dr. Greg Barraza of Stanford Center for Induced and Triggered Seismicity. If we have been missing nearly 80% of seismic activity at one of the world's most closely monitored volcanoes, what else are we not seeing? What other massive volcanic systems are building toward eruption while we operate under a false sense of security? If you live in a volcanic region anywhere in the world, now is the time to prepare. Create an emergency evacuation plan. Identify multiple escape routes. Pack essential documents, medications, and supplies. Subscribe now for critical updates as this volcanic crisis unfolds. This is not fear-mongering. This is science. This is real. And this could change everything.